Groin pain is quite a difficult one to isolate as to what the problem is because a lot of structures refer pain to the groin area, some of which obviously are organ related and others are the muscle and skeletal. So we're going to talk about just the muscles and joints related pain to that area. So if you strain your groin, typically that will be from an overuse, an overstretch, a running type scenario or maybe a, a jump where the actual muscles are stretched more than they should have done and as such you get local inflammation, maybe a mild tear. But also a chiropractor would need to check the pelvis, the hip, the groin area, all the muscles around there and then down as far as the knee and establish what itself has actually gone wrong. And things don't tend to happen in isolation so if you've got groin pain quite often it could be referred from the SI joint, the hip joint or even from the low back. And then we have to establish what muscle groups are tight. So within the groin area, you've obviously got the muscles on the inside of the leg, the muscles at the top and front of the leg, sort of pant line, and the muscles down the side of the leg. And all of those can be involved with groin pain, um, as well as obviously um, other issues on, on internal organs. Once we've found the muscles that are tight, a combination of stretching and massage and soft tissue work will actually help those muscles. But more importantly, a chiropractor would check to see whether there's any misalignment or restriction in the muscles and the joints surrounding that area. And if you re-establish normal function of those joints, the muscles will tend to follow. And a combination of soft tissue work and again, stretching specifically, ice for the painful bits, will get the groin strain healed up as quick as possible.